Welcome back to Mitchell's Mining 2. Starting, we're back on the sluicing stream, part 2. So, yeah, we got some material here. Unclassified, we have a bucket over there that has a classifier in it. Or, Arbor Fabricating, 8th inch is what we got. And here's our quarter inch. And we got our sluice set up a little bit differently today, but my plan was to classify over there, but I swear in my video yesterday there was like a whole pool of water over there. Now there's nothing like it evaporated all in one day or soaked in, but I guess we're just going to classify down here. But there is an area up there where I could dip my bucket into the creek, but then I have to walk over all sorts of tree roots just to get to my spot and that's terrible but we have our sluice set up a little bit differently today we actually had to move it over you see because the creek level dropped so much like this was pretty darn high yesterday now it's really low so so you can see the difference like we still have the black mat in here like yesterday it wasn't working good because we were finding a reduced amount of concentrates like uh basically there was barely nothing i think that was the cause of me just letting it sit there so what we have it set up today the black mat underneath we have one of the goldie boxes uh big mat we set it in there and then we have that riffle tray that riffle tray came with a high banker aluminum high banker that i well popper that i got it came with a aluminum flare and it came with that so instead of using the expanded metal today I'm going to use that see how good that this works on the stream sluice and we still have to I still have to get this thing all leveled out but for now we're going to start classifying and big shout out to Eminem Prospecting and I'm not sure who it is maybe it's Shaw Prospecting I gotta go check it out but yeah, we're going to start classifying through our 8th inch classifier, get it down. Okay, so I think we might use, we might need two buckets of this just to fill that bucket because this rock is making up most of this bucket. So, I'm going to start classifying. And I'm wondering if I can set you up in this classifier if you have a good view of me. Classify and see how quick I can get this thing down. Look. There we go. Okay. See how fast we can get this thing done. Oh, that's heavy. That's a lot of big rock. take any time at all with these classifiers they're absolutely amazing i will put a discount code in the description if you want to buy one it'll give you is it five percent off or something i'm not, I'm not sure it'll give you like maybe four dollars five dollars off in one
prospecting scoop to see how much is in the bucket. Measuring. Take the classifier out of there. Yeah, I'd say probably another one of these buckets and then he should be full. So I'll get that classified down and then we'll see you then. Okay, we definitely need more than two buckets, but I don't care. We're going to run this anyway. <laughs> you can see all the dirty water that's flowing down the creek from when I dumped out the water. This thing is light. I'm wondering if I can just sit on this rock right here. I hope. I don't want to stand and feed this. Now, I guess we can just stand for a second, right? Get a scoop, run it. There we go, it's going through. Flowing over that mat. And it's trying to go over them riffles, but the mat's up higher. I'm thinking that's not doing that bad. I may need some more water though. Or maybe it's more angle, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> we ran through that bucket, but what I'm finding out is like these riffles aren't clearing out very fast, and we got a ton of water flow through it and pretty good angle on it, so I don't know why, but. I'm sure once we go get another bucket done, it'll probably be back to normal. Ugh. Maybe I should try like classifying down a half inch. We'll see how that works out. And yeah, we'll get back to ya. Might as well take out my little adventure back. <laughs> back to the solution stream. And I'll show you how low the water actually went. Like, the creek dropped, what, maybe four inches? Probably even more. <laughs> it dropped a lot. Like, right now my sluice is out in, like, the main channel. But, look at that. That's all that's left. This thing was almost full yesterday. And so was this up here, in front of this tree root. This was full of water up through here. There's where we're digging. I fill up this bucket. You know what? Never mind. I even, I only processed one bucket from the sluicing stream, but... Right now, the these bugs are killing me. So, and I still want to hammer through dirt, so what I think we'll do is we'll head up over here and uh, we'll dig out of our old hole, see if we can't find anything, and see how it goes. <sighs> I'll have to drop my shovel. <laughs> Maybe set that down. Put my shovel right here. There you go. There we go. That's much better now. Yeah, this creek drops so much. It's so unbelievable. Uh, I think I'll just drop this material in there and I'll fill up the bucket. Yeah, that's more like it. Classified through half inch. We're gonna run it through the sluice, see how it does. Riffles seem to have cleared up, but I don't know. Okay, I really wanna sit down. My back is killing me now. Uh, okay, get a scoop. Spilling up down there at the bottom of the riffles. I think after we put a couple scoops in it, it'll get a jam up and it'll start sending material over. I 
come on, work. I don't know why these ripples just don't want to clear out for some reason. I mean, just look at that. That's not supposed to happen. Send sun into the last ripple, and the ripples are sending it over now. I kind of like the color of this. It's like a real gold color. For some reason on the camera, it just looks faded, but it's really like a brassy kind of gold color but holy crap there's black flies mosquitoes and everything everywhere i'm getting eaten alive and no i put bug spray on just doesn't like to handle rocks. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. On all the videos I've seen, like, they clear out. Ow! Son of a gun, stupid black flies. Jeez. Eat bug spray. Jeez. I kind of wish I brought that with me. Ow! I don't know. Help this material out. Get it over there. Try to get some clearer space. Ugh. Boy, they are a biting today. Probably because it came cloudy. Like earlier, it was so sunny that <laughs> I didn't think I wanted to come out here because I was so hot from walking home. and. I can feel little rocks hitting my boot down there because I'm right in the center of the sluice on the back. That's a good scoop, jeez. I'll just let it feed itself in. Or not, you know, I'll just feed it. I can't be overloaded with heavies already. Ugh. God dang, black flies are all over me. In my eyes, up my nose, <laughs> everywhere. Every once in a while, you should not stick your hand in here, but every once in a while, I stick my hand in right up here to move, help move this material around, get it over the riffles, basically, and hopefully we're not losing gold. I don't, I don't like to be, especially since this sluice ha has proven itself many times, but never with this kind of setup. Like, when I first came out here, so yesterday, I was only running this rubber mat in here. It's the first time I ever ran this rubber mat and the screen close. Oh, it was a brand new mat. I used it on my high banker. Oh, god dang it. Freaking thing. They're all out eating me. Ow. Yeah, 
Eh? It takes very long. Whoa. I'm gonna fall. To fill up this bucket, I was just using the Arbor Fabricating quarter inch. I was digging in this area again. It's actually more fine in this area for some reason. Even though it's like a, it's like right at the top, but there's more likely to be gold right in this area, but it's just easy digging and I'm not really doing much right now, so. See how these riffles are working? Riffles seem to be working okay. I kind of like them in there, they look nice. <coughs> Get over here and feed it. Oh, that's heavy. Good. flowing. Now it's working a little bit better, but the riffles are still full. We'll see. So while the sluice is cleaning, something I'll, I'll tell you like a video set up. So we have two farming simulator videos gonna come out soon. I know you guys don't really watch the farming simulator videos, but I mean, they're really good. It's just because I can't get outside and plus I got some cool new mods that I think you guys will like. So. Those are coming soon, and I mean, they're really, they're actually really good. Just messing around with the big buds and testing out mods and all sorts of things. It's something I like to do, like when it's rainy out or something and I can't get a video. It's sucky then, so, and sometimes it'll rain for weeks. You guys know this, so. Like, if it rains for weeks, how, are, how am I going to get out there and sluice? So, I post a few videos about Farming Simulator, and we just got this extremely cool new, actually two extremely cool new mods. I'm going to film up. I already have one video already to just post, and then another one I have to make still. God dang it. <laughs> but, right now the sluice is clearing itself out, so... Not doing that bad. I think I'll just let it sit and then we'll get right to the cleanup. <laughs> 